This pattern is called PMDS, which is short for Pale Morning Done Spinner. The hooking device is a Partridge short hold upwing dry, barpless in a size 14. The thread is Benecci 12 volt in tan, and I simply attach it at the eye, run it down to about one third of the hook shank, trim the waist away. The tail material is Cocte de Leon. I've taken three barbs off the stem to tie in. The tail length is slightly longer than the hook shank. This is about right. Run the thread in touching turns, keeping the barbs on top of the hook shank. Till I reach the, the end of the hook shank. I like to split the tails. I just push them up to spread them apart. Now, the one closest to me pull off to the side, run the thread up between it and the two other barbs to secure it at an angle. Take one turn, pull away the other barb, come in, and secure that one. Now I've got a permanent separation between the three barbs, like so. Trim away the waist. For the abdomen, it's a little bit of mole, which is dyed chestnut. Make a very, very slender body. So we'll take just a teeny weeny bit of dubbing. Just a bit of dust essentially on the thread. Take it down to where the tails are to make a clean start. This forms the body or the abdomen of the fly. To do a spinner that lies flush in the surface, yet to keep it visible, I like to do a full hackle and then trim the bottom, but I also want a slightly more robust thorax, so that could be done with dubbing, but I'd like to have something that gives the volume but not the bulk. I will use some dyed brown ostrich. The hackle is a Sandy Dunn cock hackle. Both are now tied in right at the eye. I could have tied these in as the very first materials, but then especially the ostrich would have been flopping away. So in this case I will tie them in after I do the tails and the abdomen. The ostrich gets wound first. It will give the darker 
thorax appearance with the lighter hackle that will be wrapped over it shortly. The hackle will get wrapped in slightly open turns to cover the distance. and to form a, a plane to rest the fly in the film. Run it back, trap the tip, cut through a fairly steep angle right to the front. And finish off with a three turn whip finish. We now have a fully wound hackle. I want to trim away the bottom so that the fly will lie flush in the film and give a spinner imprint, but the top will be left untouched for the angler to see. Just come in. more <laughs> and that completes the PMDS. We have a full hackle on the top, three split tails, slender abdomen, flush outline at the bottom so that there is a large area to rest in the film.